Yes, let's look at this problem right here. This question is asking a beam of natural light is incident on an air glass interface at 40 degree. Compute the degree of polarization of the reflected light. Okay, so here the question is asking us to find out the degree of polarization. But let's look at the given information. So here we have NTI that is equal to 1.5 and also we have the incident angle provided that is equal to 40 degree. Okay, and if we apply Snell's law and we know that Snell's law is NT sine theta t is equal to ni sin theta i from this one we can solve for theta t right because we have theta i provided also we have this one nti is basically nti is nt over ni that's equal to 1.5 okay now if we rearrange this equation this is going to become theta t is equal to ni over nt sin theta i and this sign will become sine inverse sine inverse of the whole thing okay now let's go ahead and plug the values sine inverse and uh, ni over nt here we have nt over ni is equal to 1.5 then ni over nt is going to be 1 over 1.5 okay then sine theta i we know the theta i is equal to 40 degree so this is going to be sine 40 degree and if you calculate this one you're going to get 25.4 degree now this information is useful because we are going to use the Fresnel's equation to find out the reflectance at parallel and reflectance at a perpendicular because we need that information in order to find out the degree of polarization now let's go ahead and find the reflection reflectance at parallel okay reflectance at parallel the equation for the reflectance at parallel is the we are going to use the Fresnel's equation that is given by tan square theta i minus theta t divided by tan square theta i plus theta t. Now we have theta i and theta t so we can plug it in this equation. So this is going to become tan, uh, tan square theta i is equal to 40 degree so 40 minus 25.4 divided by tan square 40 plus 25.4 okay and that's going to give us 0 0.0142 so this is going to be the reflectance at parallel and let's see what's going to happen when we have reflectance at perpendicular to find the reflectance at perpendicular we use this equation that is sine square theta i minus theta t divided by sine square theta i plus theta t now let's go ahead and plug the values this is going to be sine square 40 minus 25.4 divided by sine square 40 plus 25.4 and if you calculate this one you're going to get 0 0.0769 okay and also we need the average reactants to find the average reactants we just add them together and divide by 2 okay let's go ahead and do that r let's call r as average r is going to be equal to half times r perpendicular plus r parallel and uh, if we calculate this one we can plug the values we have r perpendicular that is equal to 0 0.0769 R parallel is 0.0142 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.04554 0 0.04554 okay so this is the average reactance now to do the rest of the part let's get rid of these things because now these things are unnecessary okay okay let's continue now we have the reactants like we have the perpendicular reactants, parallel reactants, perpendicular reactants and also we have the average reactants. Now in order to find out the degree of polarization we have to use this equation. V is equal to IP over IP plus IN. This IP represents the constituent flux density of polarized. This IP is constitu constituent flux density of polarized light 
and this is uh, this n represents for unpolarized light okay now let's go ahead and find out okay ip ip is given by r perpendicular plus r parallel and i n is given by average r okay we have all the information so we can plug it in this equation this is going to be v ip instead of ib we plug this one r perpendicular plus r parallel and uh, ip plus in that's going to be r perpendicular plus r parallel plus r okay now let's go ahead and plug the values first we have r perpendicular that's equal to 0 0.0769 plus r parallel that is given by that, that is equal to 0 0.0142 divided by the same thing we copy the same thing 0 0.0769 plus 0 0.0142 plus the average that is 0 0.04554 0 0.04554 and if you calculate this one you're going to get 0 0.667 and if you want to express this one in percentage this is going to be 66. 7 percentage and that's going to be the degree of polarization. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.